guys, so this is the second tutorial on how to make good use of your Google accounts and Google Drive. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make unlimited storage for your Google Drive that you can use it on your iPad. So before I start this tutorial, I want to make sure that you know that your storage is limited to the number of Google accounts you have. And we are integrating all the free storages into one account. That means if you have 10 Google accounts, you have 150 gigabytes of storage. You'll be able to view and edit these files. So make sure you check my previous video on how to make a limited number of Google accounts for free. So I have created two accounts exclusively for this video. And one of them is completely empty, which you can see uh, there's nothing. And the second one, I have uploaded a folder called testing one and I've put two photos of my cat in this drive. There are some tricks that you got to know in order to make it show on your iPad. So I'm going to walk you through step by step. Well, the first step, since we are going to use the shared with me function, so the first thing is to share the document. If you're doing this on PC, please right click and bring up the menu. If you're doing it on iPad or Android, you can long press the folder to bring up the menu and then click the little man with the plus sign on top. Now you should be able to see this. Type in the accounts that you want to use to manage all the files on your iPad. Make sure you are typing the whole email address with google.com and make sure you've chosen the editor for uh, the email address that you have filled in. I would prefer to use the notify people box as well because you will be able to know what kind of folders or what kind of files is has been shared by these accounts so that when you have a lot of accounts sharing different kind of folders to your main account, you know where to find them. Also, make sure you are an editor so that you can edit and change what is inside the folder. And you can press send to end this step. So now we should be able to edit and see this folder in our main drive as well. So let's move back to our main drive. Okay, so now we can see it in our share with me section. So how do we make it appear on our iPad? If you go to the official files app on your iPad, there is nothing there. So first of all, we have to log in our Google Drive. It's a separate app, but we have to download it. But still, there's nothing in my drive. Now let's go back to the files app and then click the hamburger menu and then click edit sidebar. And then we enable Google Drive so that we can use Google Drive inside our files app but still there is nothing here and now here comes the tricky part so let's go back to our google drive first we know that the file shared from the other drive the other account is in the shared with me section so now right click it and then bring up the menu and then make a shortcut to my drive if you're using iPad, you can long press it to bring up the menu. Now we have the testing one folder in my drive section. See, it appears in our Google Drive in the file app. And we are able to edit it, open it, and do whatever we want. This is a very useful technique because we can have an unlimited amount of storage for free and it is legit and it is safe because it's Google Drive. Also, if you are buying a lower end storage model for iPad or whatever tablet or whatever device you have, this is like super useful and is free. So I don't see any reason not doing that. So if you missed what I've said in the very beginning, you have to have an unlimited number of Google accounts in order to achieve that. So if you're not sure about how to make a limited number of Google accounts, or if you have any problem making multiple Google accounts, make sure you check my first video of this series. 
So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you found that useful and I will make more videos on uh, this kind of pack hacks and more kind of iPad hacks and stuff. And of course, I also make videos on emulations and uh, Android devices. So if you're interested in these kind of topics, please subscribe and give me a like for this video. That's it. Thanks and bye.